Just trying to remember what I was <laughs> what I was feeling. So, are you wanting to remember, which is sort of a little bit like reviving? <laughs> or are you wanting to tune in to the leading edge thought that yes, we're upon? Yes, I'm wanting that for sure. Sometimes people come to the gatherings and they've got a long list of things and when they get in the chair They just want to go through the long list sometimes Someone's been in the seat and they've been inspired by something that's happened and it's triggered something and so they want to go into that new place and That's what you were doing. So let's just relax and go there yeah. Or we can all just rest <laughs> Take a nap you can just lay down <laughs> Um, I am so wanting to be happy in this and satisfied with this physical body. Happy and satisfied might be the same thing, but happy is more momentum than satisfied. So I want to be satisfied. Okay, I would love to be, because I know how you talk about So what did you say you want to be satisfied more. about? I would like to be satisfied with this physical body. Well, that's asking way too much. <laughs> Because you've already practiced dissatisfaction and you can't turn on a dime like that. And there's already enough momentum. In other words, satisfaction and dissatisfaction are pretty close together. But abject loathing, we're just kidding you, <laughs> is further. And so the other day we were talking with a man and he had invented this wonderful barbecue contraption that he wanted to take to market and make a lot of money with. And so we talked about it together for quite a while. But he was stalled out. The business was stalled out. It wasn't going the way he wanted it to go. And we were offering everything that we were offering, wanting to call him into satisfaction. But we couldn't make it because he had practiced the other. And so it was just not going to happen in this moment in time. So we asked the audience, does this man, would it benefit him to be satisfied? And the whole audience said yes and then we said does he need to be satisfied about his barbecue contraption and the whole audience said no just satisfied in other words when you say I'm dissatisfied or I'm unhappy or more about this particular subject so I'm going to turn this subject to satisfaction that's really going about it the hard way and you're probably not going to make it but if you can find anything that you feel satisfied about and find satisfaction then that satisfaction becomes more and more and more and more and there becomes enough satisfaction momentum until you're feeling really really good and then under those conditions then you can find some thoughts about some things that you have formerly felt pretty strong in opposition about and then those thoughts can begin to shift does that make sense to you it's trying to revive the vibration of how I feel about my body that doesn't work. Okay, so, but I feel like I've done that over, I mean, I feel like I've, I mean, I love when you've talked about. Maybe you have, but you weren't doing it just now. Okay. And now is all that matters because there's only now. All right. This moment in time is where your ability to converge or move in the direction of your inner being or not. Mutuality with your inner being can only be found now. And so if you can't find it on that topic, if you want mutuality and you can't find it on that topic, but you want mutuality, but you can't find it on that topic, but you want mutuality, but you can't find it on that topic, then isn't it logical to change topics? Well, I've spent a lot of time not, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to argue for my limitations, but I'm here with you and I'm like, let's do this. It's all right. Well, let's do it. So. I've spent lots of time. That's not doing it. I, I have, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I, okay. So you want me to try it? I mean, I, I feel like I know how to, I have an extraordinary life and I have spent lots of time not thinking about it or thinking about wonderful things that are happening in my life. And when I tune into this other thing. But here's the thing. So you spend time finding satisfaction about other things, but not to the degree that you found so much satisfaction that you can then find satisfaction about that thing because you keep wanting that thing to change before you're willing to be satisfied you're not willing to be satisfied about it in the vibrational state 
it's got to go all the way there before you'll be satisfied if you're like most humans and that's what trips you up yes because it's like I need to be there in order to be satisfied that never works that's not what creation is creation is finding a satisfying vibration and maintaining it until that thought turns to the thing that you want but the other satisfying thing is thoughts turn to the things that you want dissatisfying thoughts turn to the things you don't want so if you've got dissatisfying thoughts about something that you want got to change the subject to satisfying things it's really simpler than you're letting it be and it's because you're like most humans where you think that it takes pain to have gain and that you have to wrestle to the ground and kill it and you're sort of oriented to finding the problem and then fixing it and so forth and all of that has some relativity in your life experience because contrast is important and so forth but once you have done step one and you know what you want then you got to focus on what you want and if you can't then focus on something else that you want but i'm not even sure that i can have what i think i want we know you're not sure we know you're not sure. i mean i can't look like i'm 20 again you know you can't with money you can make more money but can you really you can maybe say like i love the idea of thinking that maybe one day i could say oh i feel even stronger i've heard people say that i feel stronger or or fitter or happier in my body than i did when i was 20. esther thought she cut those trees down too and she didn't okay i didn't follow you on that one <laughs> well we're just saying you practice beliefs that don't serve you and so when you get to the essence we can talk about this subject and we will if you want to for two minutes two minutes <laughs> but there's an easier way of going about it the way we could talk about it is we could say to you well what is it about youth that is appealing well it's the feeling of vitality it's the feeling of open-endedness it's a feeling of freedom risky it's a feeling of being alive it's a feeling of so much more ahead of me it's a feeling of adventure it's a feeling of expansive it's a feeling of possibilities and so any one of those things any of those things or all of those things with far less effort than you think you could hone in on and you could find aspects of your life when you feel that way and here's the thing about playing the satisfaction game that we are encouraging often there'll be one of those aspects that you are feeling in that moment and as you acknowledge the satisfaction that you feel on any of those topics then you gain vibrational ground so to speak so it's easier for you to pick that up where you last left it because every thought is where you last left it on every subject so as you begin to look for reasons to feel satisfied in other aspects of your life you will find components of satisfaction that will serve that too but it's like sneaking in the back door because the other component of satisfaction you found it and you accomplished it and you didn't shoot it in the foot because that's not what you were thinking about and so you didn't stir up all those aggravating thoughts that kept you from going further so it just gets better and better until you begin to acknowledge that you're feeling more vitality and that you're having more fun and that you're feeling more free and then those other things that you wanted to sort of demand from the universe or that you acknowledge are not coming easily you stop beating that drum so much at the same time that we're saying to you that you can be or do or have anything that you desire we're also saying to you you have to find a way of believing it so then you say what if I don't believe that I can have some of my desires and then we say then you have to find a way to believe and you say but what if I want something that I don't believe and we say there's something else that you want where the enough components that you do believe are present that you can find enough of those cooperative components that then you can shift yourself into a place of eventually believing that you can accomplish anything that you want now someone who really wants to push that might say well what if I want to believe that I can fly will I ever be able to fly and we say if you will leave out all of the pieces of it that you're using to try to argue for your limitations and if you will allow yourself to be the vibrational being that you are where you can soar in your vibration and have the same experience of it but what humans so often want to do they want to say no I want to lay out all the improbable or the 
maybe even practical components that I don't believe and then I want to defy all of those and we say that is something that you cannot do you cannot defy your own belief system you have to modify your beliefs to harmonize with your desires that's what deliberate creation is that's what evolution is because what people most believe in is what is well then how could what is ever change if you believe that you have to believe in everything that is then how will you ever move beyond what is you have to lessen your grasp on what is in order to allow what isn't yet to be the new what is so if you could look into your vortex the way we do and see the full manifestations of so many things that you desire that your what is has given birth to then you would come to understand that you can be that youthful being that you want to be that you can live in the joyous way that you want to live but the most important thing that you have to let go of is bringing everyone else along with you because the weight and balance of all of the beliefs of all of those who are living the now reality holds you to a place that won't let you go to the new place there have always been those who have reached beyond the beliefs of the masses who have ignored the beating drum of the reality that the masses want to convey and it's really interesting because they're conveying so much contradiction one with another anyway and these people who have believed beyond what most believe and therefore attracted to themselves what they believed have then provided a basis of beliefs for masses to follow that is my path yeah that's my desire and so at the same time we're saying to you leave everybody else out of it we're saying when you go there a lot of them will follow but leave them all out of it and when you leave them all out of it then you can go and then they can follow but leave them all out of it don't let what they believe or don't believe to be your motive in other words leave them all out of it when you leave them all out of it and you just establish mutuality between you and your own inner being you can find satisfaction 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 and when you stop reaching for mutuality with others you'll stop trying to define yourself through their eyes you'll stop receiving what they think about the way you look or the way you are you'll have way more leeway to see yourself as you want to be you'll stop reaching for their thoughts because you won't be in the vicinity where you can even receive their God, thoughts is that really possible you'll, yes it's what deliberate creation is it's separating yourself from the mutuality of them and assigning to yourself an intention to have mutuality with your own inner being where your invincibility is and then you will discover and show yourself that you can do or be or have anything that you define you just got to line up with it when you say showing it to other people when I am in that lead not well you see in the leading edge is that something that's on my path or is that don't even think about that you're a teacher to the core of your being and you want to lead to the power and clarity of your example and so when you accomplish something it will just naturally that others observe it can be beneficial to them when you live in wellness that's a good example when you live in clarity and fun when you're joyful in your life when you are joyful when you are at an age when you're not supposed to be joyful you should be unhappy at this point <laughs> you sort of stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> Yes, that is or like sure. the only thumb that isn't sore <laughs> we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs> and we are satisfied with what is and eager for more there is great love here for you and for now we are complete <laughs> good. really really good and we're off okay bye